the hospitality industry can suffer from an image problem. How can the industry change that and drive it forward? The negative image that the industry sometimes suffers from, uh, I think, is totally unfair. Actually, it is one of the nicest places to work. I mean, if you think about the opportunities young people have in making a career, whether they're working in restaurants, hotels, in my case, visitor attractions like theme parks, uh, they can come in at really the entry level, but then work their way right the way up. So what can the industry do then to show that it's not just a holiday job? One of our problems has always been that it's a very fragmented industry and doesn't necessarily have a single point of communication. And that's one of the things the British Hospitality Association is trying really hard to to do. Uh, lots of things we want to achieve in terms of policy objectives, but you know, underlying nearly everything is our central argument that this is a core job creating industry within the UK. It's the fourth biggest in terms of people employed, but it's also probably of critical importance for giving those entry level jobs to young people uh, who don't go to university. Brexit obviously poses challenges. How can the industry deal with that? Brexit presents challenges and opportunities, and that debate will go on on lots of levels. I think the, the biggest issue for us is, is in terms of the employment base and immigration. I think we all know that any government coming in is going to have to do something to look like they're controlling immigration. And our view is that that has to be taken over a much longer period of time than everybody seems to think that it can be one quick fix solution. Uh, it's not just the case that we need to be attracting astrophysicists from Germany, we need to be able to get chefs. Uh, every hospitality business in the UK is crying out for chefs right now. So it has to be done in a phased way, in a planned way. And at the same time, it needs to go alongside the earlier point that we need to be promoting this industry as a great career choice for British people. How important are apprenticeships in this? I think apprenticeships are very important because they're all part of what points to a rewarding career and the opportunity to develop and train within the hospitality and tourism sector. Um, I think that the way in which the apprenticeship levy has been brought in is a very blunt instrument. I think it's unfair on those operators that are already spending quite a significant resource on training and development of their people. Uh, I know that we do an awful lot of that within Merlin, and yet that's not counted towards the apprenticeship. And as a result, we just get billed a lot of money. And I think we're not alone, and I think the BHA would say generally that there's too much around the apprenticeship levy that feels like a stealth tax. But the underlying principle of apprenticeships, we wholeheartedly support. And what's your career trajectory been? I went to university planning to uh, be Prime Minister uh, and came out marketing chocolate bars at Roundtree Macintosh and uh, then obviously ended up uh, one day marketing director at Alton Towers, then into uh, a company that was called Varden Attractions, which ran Sea Life and Dungeons. And that was the company we did a management buyout of in 99. Uh, it was a £20 million turnover business then, and that's when we formed Merlin Entertainments. And uh, obviously, now, 17 years later, the turnover is £1.4 billion and we're listed on the stock market. So uh, it's been quite a journey, and I guess, in many ways, the journey of Merlin tells you what could, is possible for people within this industry. It's dynamic. It, it is something where you can have an immediate impact. The theme of this summit is 360 degrees, promoting links between businesses, the wider community and government. How important is that for the industry to grow? The 360 degree perspective is, is another way of talking about the many stakeholders that businesses in, in this industry, like any industry, have got. What I think makes us a little different is if I look at a a, a, an attraction in my business, like Alton Towers, which is actually now the biggest employer in Staffordshire, uh, you know, employs directly nearly 2,000 people, but then in the wider economy around it, you know, employs probably that many again in terms of people with guest houses, pubs, restaurants, all the supply chain that goes on around it. People always talk about car manufacturers as if there's some special thing because of their their supply chains, but but in our business in hospitality and tourism, we have exactly the same, and the multiplier effects are just as significant, if not more so. But there's more than that. You know, we have to do a lot in terms of our own charities. We have a charity called the Merlin Magic Wand. So we fund hospices for children uh, in the local hospitals and things like that. So that engagement all round that sees huge numbers of jobs created, both directly and indirectly, a lot of money going into the local economy, uh, the actual location in that case being put on the map as a tourist destination um, within the whole of the UK, 
and and then obviously all of the community support and relationships that go around it just tells you how pivotal these sorts of businesses can be. Nick Varney, thank you very much.